Late last year, heads of state gathered in Paris, France for a UN climate change conference to set voluntary emissions targets and take action. A year later, on November 4th, 2016, the Paris Agreement on Climate Change entered into force. What is left now is the faithful implementation of the Accord. Since the Paris deal, renewable energy has quickly emerged as an alternative to climate-destroying fossil fuels to meet growing energy demand. Where does the renewable industry stand today? This farming village in Hongcheon, Gangwon-do province was designated as Korea's first eco-friendly energy town last year. Eco-friendly energy town is an initiative to use unwanted facilities such as landfills and sewage treatment plants to tackle pollution and energy issues. Home to a manure processing facility and sewage treatment plant, the area was once called a stinky village. But it has undergone major changes after the eco-friendly initiative took off. Food waste and livestock manure are left to decompose for more than a month to produce biogas. About 100 tons of waste can create as much as 3,000 tons of biogas, which in turn produces up to 2,000 tons of natural gas. Some 7% of produced gas is used to power the village. The average monthly heating bill is now 100 US dollars, about one-fourth of what residents would normally pay when using electric power, oil, or LPG. The remaining 93% of gas production is sold to local gas suppliers. Every spring, village farms use on average 500 bags of fertilizer. Now, they can rely on a nutrient-rich byproduct of biogas production, which makes a great fertilizer. The amount of organic fertilizer produced from the biogas plant is more than enough to cover the village's demand. The remaining supply is sold, generating $52,000 every year. The village has also built solar and small hydropower plants that produce 447 megawatt hours of electricity annually. About 30% of revenues from electricity sales go to the village's landscaping and beautification works. The rest, 70%, are used to drive more use of renewables, for example, by installing solar panels on houses. The small village that once had only 57 households is gradually growing in population. The production and use of green renewable energy are attracting attention around the world. Fossil fuels like oil, coal, and natural gas are becoming increasingly scarce. Also, heavy reliance on them has resulted in the destruction of the ecosystem. This has accelerated the growth of low-carbon industries across the world. Among the most promising sectors is renewable energy, which comes from eight different sources, including solar heat, sunlight, bioenergy, wind, hydro, geothermal, maritime, and waste. According to the UN, more than half of all new power plants built last year produced renewable energy, and renewables reached a double-digit share of total power generation for the first time last year at 10.3%. The International Renewable Energy Agency, or IRENA, is an intergovernmental organization with 170 member states dedicated to promoting renewable energy technologies and developing effective policy solutions. Henning Wooster, director of the Knowledge Policy and Finance Center at IRENA, stresses that the use of renewables will not only deliver environmental benefits, but also offer economic benefits including job creation. 
For some countries, renewables is also attractive because of energy security. Uh, they can shift uh, to domestic uh, sources uh, of energy. They can, uh, you can create uh, employment. Our estimation is that at the moment we have over 9 million jobs in the renewable energy industry and that can grow uh, by 2030 to 24 million. The share of renewables in the overall energy mix in Korea is 1.1%, far below the OECD average of 9.2%. More than 70% of the country's power generation comes from coal-fired and nuclear power plants, while renewables play a supplementary role at best. 전력 생산에서 원자력이 차지하는 비중은 30%가 넘고 석탄은 40%가 넘습니다. 그리고 나머지를 가스 발전, 석유 발전, 신에너지 및 재생에너지 발전이 차지하고 있습니다. 전력을 값싸고 안정적으로 공급하는 것이 이 정책의 우선순위였기 때문에 전력을 싸게 생산할 수 있는 기술에 초점을 맞춰서 전력 생산을 했습니다. 그래서 어, 과거에 이제 원자력이나 석탄 화력 같은 것의 비중이 점점 이렇게 커지게 되었던 거죠. Korea's heavy reliance on nuclear energy and fossil fuels is unlikely to change anytime soon. The country plans to build 13 nuclear reactors and 20 coal-fired plants by 2029, becoming the only OECD member nation to show a retrogressive move in energy production. As the introduction of renewable technologies and infrastructure takes a fair amount of time and money, the use of renewables should work in tandem with coal and nuclear power generation at least for the time being. In energy-scarce Korea, the production cost of renewable energy will be higher than that of nuclear or coal, which may drive up an electricity bill. This would require a broad national consensus. In order to boost the fledgling renewable industry, the Korean government announced its ambitious plan last July to invest $42 billion in the country's energy sector by 2020 an investment that is about 10 times larger than the $4 billion that Germany committed over four years. The initiative will include deregulation and tax cuts in the energy sector, as well as subsidies for the installation of renewable energy. Irina's Wooster offers insights on where the Korean renewable energy industry should be headed by sharing success stories in other countries. What is also important is that you have an electricity market that's open. In Europe, for instance, in 1996, uh, uh, the electricity market was liberalized and those that uh, were providing renewable electricity uh, were able to access the market. These changes uh, will have to be accompanied and uh, supported, uh, but they are possible. The Paris Agreement on Climate Change signed by world leaders took effect on November 4. Countries will now step up their efforts to curb emissions. With a global energy market shifting its focus to renewables, Korea will have to mobilize all its resources to follow the larger trend. 국내에서는 연간 2조 원이 넘는 태양광 시장이 있고 또 풍력 시장도 커지고 있는데요. 지금보다 뭐 시장이 두 배, 세 배, 한 10배까지도 커질 수 있다고 봅니다. 그래서 재생 에너지 비중이 뭐 4, 5% 수준에서 20%, 30%까지 올라가는 것도 다른 나라의 the need for clean, sustainable energy is driving interest in renewable energy sources worldwide. Despite being a late mover, Korea is embracing an aggressive shift to renewables. While Korea may lag behind in renewable energy production, its tidal power generation is second to none in the world. What appears like an ordinary park is in fact the world's largest tidal power installation built in 2011. The Xihua Lake Tidal Power Station converts energy obtained from tides into electricity. Korea's west coast is an ideal site for tidal power generation, thanks to its high tidal range 
which is the vertical difference in height between the high tide and the low tide. But as tides alone cannot generate enough electricity, an artificial setup is required. The Shiwa plant makes use of a lake to increase the tidal range. A barrage was built between the West Sea and Shiwa Lake with sluice gates. When the tide is low, the gates are open to empty the lake reservoir. When the tide is high, water flows from the sea into the lake via turbines. The artificial lake was created in 1994 to supply water to farms and industrial complexes in the nearby Ansan city. But the construction project resulted in a fish kill in the lake, and the accidental release of the sewage from the Ansan Terminal Wastewater Treatment Plant dramatically deteriorated the water quality of the lake. But the circulation of seawater by the tidal power plant breathed new life into the dying lake. Water quality began to improve naturally. Besides the environmental benefits, the plant boasts an impressive power generation capacity. It annually produces 552 gigawatt hours of energy, which is enough to serve 200,000 people for a year and 1.6 times the annual output of the Soyang River Dam, the largest hydropower plant in the nation. Currently, only five countries, including Korea, have tidal power plants. Tidal energy has very specific location requirements, as having a large tidal range is critical. It also requires know-how and expertise, since the amount of electricity depends on when the sluice gates open and close. The Shiwa Tidal Power Plant, which takes full advantage of its geographical location, looks to maintain the best operating conditions. Another pollution-free energy source that is increasing in popularity is geothermal energy that originates from the heat retained within the Earth. Geothermal power generation in non-volcanic areas like Korea is unlikely. But recently, a new method of geothermal energy production has emerged. Although significantly lower than the temperatures in volcanic areas, geothermal heat in non-volcanic areas maintains temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius. The new method uses this thermal energy to provide air conditioning and heating. One of the buildings that uses geothermal energy is the Seoul City Hall. With a gross floor area of 90,788 square meters, the building has high air conditioning and heating costs. About half the amount of energy that is used to power heating and cooling systems within the building comes from geothermal heat. The City Hall's geothermal system was installed by Kotec Engineering. The company designed and supplied geothermal power solutions to the 123-story Lotte World Tower, an eco farmland, which is Asia's largest glass greenhouse. To understand the principle behind geothermal energy, we need to start by looking at how a heat pump works. A heat pump absorbs heat from indoor air and transfers it outdoors during air conditioning, and absorbs heat from the ground and transfers it indoors during heating. Geothermal heat pump is the heat that comes from the ground and is absorbed by the air. 
아니면 건물을 지속적으로 땅속에다 배출하는 그러한 이제 기능을 하게 되는 겁니다. 그래서 히트펌프에서 필요한 온수가 45도 냉수의 경우 7도면 은 거기에 필요한 열을 땅속에서 어, 물을 순환시켜서 그 열량을 지속적으로 건물에 공급한다. 이런 원리라고 설명을 드릴 수가 있겠습니다. As the temperature underground remains constant at about 15 degrees Celsius, a geothermal system can operate around the clock, regardless of the outside environment. Kotec Engineering is localizing advanced geothermal technologies from the U.S. or Europe, while developing homegrown technologies at the same time. One of its flagship technologies is the hybrid geothermal system, which combines geothermal pumps and a cooling tower to improve efficiency. The Seoul City believes the system will deliver budget savings in future years. Geothermal energy guarantees high efficiency, producing three times as much heat energy as it uses. A geothermal system can be installed in virtually any area and requires no manpower for maintenance. In countries like Korea that have hot summers and cold winters, the geothermal energy industry has huge growth potential. Geo system is a system that can be used to 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 be 효율이 높게 운영을 할 수가 있습니다. In addition to environmental benefits, renewables provide great economic value and increased efficiency. Continued advances in renewable technologies will offer a viable solution to energy shortage. Aside from solar, tidal, and geothermal sources, biomass is another form of future energy that is garnering attention. It encompasses all materials of biological origin, from plants that use solar energy to photosynthesize, and animals and microorganisms that feed on these plants to organic waste. Biomass is a pollution-free and sustainable energy source that can be converted into electricity and even fuels to power automobiles. As an efficient alternative to fossil fuels, it is playing a key role in driving the transition to renewable energy. Kyungil Energy is a Gyeonggi-do province-based company that produces solid biomass, wood chips in particular. Wood chips are waste wood cut into easily combustible chips. The company takes in domestic waste wood, such as old furniture or kitchen cabinets. About 100 tons of waste wood is collected every day, of which 90% is processed into wood chips. 그냥 통째로 태우게 되면 아무래도 어, 열 효율이 떨어지게 됩니다. 그리고 불안전 연소가 되기 때문에 환경에도 좋지가 않습니다. 그래서 적정한 규격으로 파쇄를 해서 태우는 게더 환경적이고 열 효율도 어, 조, 좋다고 볼수 있습니다. How are these wood chips used? This is Korea's first and largest biomass power plant located in Donghae, Gangwon-do province, that produces electricity from wood chips. Wood chips are UN Global Energy Agreement, and are recognized as Bio Energy One, which is a renewable energy source for the local environment. Also, it is used to replace the waste of the local waste and reduce the waste of the local waste. The facility also generates power. The facility generates power by burning locally produced wood chips without adding any fossil fuels. Recycled wood chips have replaced coal, a limited and polluting resource, as a fuel for electricity generation. 연간 소비하는 우드 칩 연료 사용량은 16만 톤을 소비하며 이로 얻어지는 전기 생산량은 17만 5천 메가와트 아워로 4만 8천 가구에 1년 동안 전기를 공급할 수 있는 양이며 이산화탄소 감축 효과는 10만 여 톤에 달합니다. However, some question whether wood chip power can really contribute to reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, as it inevitably involves combustion. To minimize the emission of pollutants during the combustion process, the Dongae plant keeps combustion temperatures relatively low. 기존 석탄 화력 대비 보일러 내 연소 온도를 낮게 유지하여 질소 산화물 배출이 적은 전기를 생산할 수 있으므로 별도의 환경 오염 
저감 장치가 필요 없습니다. Another issue of concern is the supply of fuels. Domestically produced timber and its waste are limited in volume. 향후 대용량 바이오매스 발전소의 시장 진입이 가속화될 경우 국내 발생량의 한계로 인해 안정적 연료 조달의 어려움이 예상되고 있습니다. This has turned researchers to look into liquid forms of biomass. Liquid biomass has seen three generations. The first generation is grains like horns and sugar canes. The second generation is lignocellulosic materials including grass and waste wood. The first two generations had limitations in that they include food resources and result in deforestation. An alternative to these two was the third generation, algal biomass. The Advanced Biomass R&D Center located in the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology specializes in developing biofuels using algae. Algae grow quickly, offering high productivity as a biomass fuel. They also contain high amounts of oil, which make them easier to be converted into biodiesel or bioethanol. The research team is particularly interested in microalgae. 한마디로 식물성 플랑크톤의 일종입니다. 그러니까 단일 세포 형태를 띠면서 자라는 미생물인데 광합성 작용을 하죠. 이거 자체가 기름을 내부에 축적을 한다는 거죠. 생체 내에서 만들어지면서 물에 녹지 않는 물질들을 다 지질이라고 하는데 지질을 축적을 해요. 근데 그 지질은 바로 어 조그만 그 가공 과정을 거치면 수송용 연료가 될수 있습니다. The team has studied the development, harvest, and extraction of high-performance bioalgae strains. As a result, it successfully developed a technology that turns algae into biodiesel that can replace petroleum diesel. It is also looking at ways to use algae residues remaining after oil extraction to create high-value substances. 지질 추출이라든가 균주 개발, 촉매를 써서 그 지질로부터 그 연료유를 만드는 기술은 저희가 어 상당히 국제적인 세계적인 수준에 올라 있습니다. Algae may be a promising biomass source, but its mass production and commercialization are still a work in progress. The price of biofuels is a major concern, as it is nearly eight times the cost of conventional fossil fuels. 지금 이러한 부분에 있어서 그 가장 기술적인 그런 진보가 필요한 부분이 배양입니다. 배양. 가장 먼저 기술을 개발을 시작하고 선도하고 있는 나라는 뭐 역시 미국이에요. 미국도 아직까지는 경제적으로 경쟁력 있는 그런 공정 개발은 아직 하지를 못했어요. The research team says strong policy support is crucial to make biomass a competitive renewable energy source. In an attempt to expand the use of renewables, Korea introduced the Renewable Fuel Standard, or RFS, program, which mandates the use of renewable energy. The program requires oil companies to blend a certain amount of biodiesel into diesel. 우리나라는 지금 BD 2.5라는 거를 시행하고 있어요. BD 2.5라는 건 뭐냐면 바이오디젤 2.5, 2.5%를 섞어서 써야 된다. 그게 이제 점점 점점 그게 강화가 될 겁니다. 2018년부터는 바이오 BD 3.0이 되고 그런 식의 이제 적극적인 정책적 어떤 결정이 있어야 되는 게 이제 중요하고요. In addition to policy support, it is important to raise public awareness about renewable energy so that people are willing to pay for protecting the environment. 바이오 에너지는 비싸다. 그렇지만 환경을 위해서는 우리가 비싼 대가를 치를 의향이 있다. 이렇게 되지 않는 한 바이오 에너지 바이오 디젤을 비롯한 그 바이오 에너지들이 경제성을 갖는다는 것은 실질적인 경제성을 갖는다는 것은 쉽지 않습니다. The idea of sustainable renewables is no longer an option but a necessity if humans are to coexist peacefully with nature. Humans achieve development at the cost of ecological degradation. They are now paying the price for their arrogance towards nature through climate change and natural disasters. However, the current crisis can also be an opportunity. The shift to renewables should be regarded as an investment for the future, instead of a cost to bear. This calls for the commitment of governments around the world, as well as mass awareness about the need and benefits of renewable energy.